Good morning guys, it's Monday, January 15th. Welcome to weekly vlog number 23. This morning was kicked off a little differently as I woke up to a really mean comment <laughs> online. That's not totally uncommon, but first thing Monday morning, it was a little bit stark. And then I went into our closet and realized that Charlie had gotten sick at some point in the night in our closet. And so then I was cleaning that up. But sometimes you just gotta brush your hair and put on lipstick and move on with your day because what can you do? I just ate a delicious breakfast. We had leftover fajita veggies, so like um, sliced onion and um, peppers that we had sauteed, you know? I think you know what fajita veggies are. And I scrambled that in with some eggs and put some cheddar cheese on top. Mmm, that was so yummy, delicious. I'm trying not to shop a lot this week because it's the week before Disney. I'm so excited. We leave on Sunday morning at 6.15 a.m. our flight departs. So I have between now and then to get this week together, get everything going. Um, I have quite a lot to do this week, but I made my to-do lists for the week last night and I feel peaceful and ready to conquer it. I just know that I'm gonna, I'm not gonna be chilling. I'm gonna be working this week. I am in about 20 minutes hopping on a Skype call for a new mentee, which is always exciting. I love meeting my new mentees. And so um, I have that to look forward to. I have already listened to, I think, five. My goal for 2018 was to listen to 12 audiobooks. I will actually, if you haven't already read it, I will link um, my goals I think it's this side. I will link my goals blog post. I wrote like my five, I think it's five goals for 2018. Um, these aren't like abstract things. These are specific goals. And so one of them was to listen to 12 audiobooks this year. And I only have one hour left on my fifth one. And we are only two weeks into January. So I'm going to crush this goal <laughs> probably by, I don't even know next month I might have listened to 12 already but it's just been such a great way for me to listen to stuff so I think what I'm gonna do is write a blog post on um, on the five audiobooks I just think every five audiobooks that I listen to I'm gonna do a blog post and review the five of them so if I've already done that for these five I will link it above if I have not done it then be on the lookout make sure you go and follow my blog the links always below and um, or you can follow me on Instagram. If you don't want to follow my blog, you can go follow me on Instagram. And I, every time I post something new on my blog or YouTube channel, I tell you about it on Instagram. So if you want to be on the lookout for that, um, it's been a wide variety of different types of books, but it, they've all been really, really good. So, all right, I'm going to, I also have some Etsy stuff to do today, you know, just normal, but I'm going to go ahead and, um, get online, get ready to Skype and I'll check in with you guys later. All right, I just finished my Skype meeting, got lots of notes. I'm loving having my little notebook to keep all of my notes in. I was just using like legal pads, which obviously work great for taking notes, but they weren't all in one spot and this just makes it so much easier. So that was fun. I am writing a blog post right now called Practical Ways to Slow Down, where I'm just talking about practical ways to have more slow intentionality in your life. I think it's easy to talk about and harder to implement, so that's what that's what I'm working on now. I'm drinking a big coffee. Well, it's not that big. For me, it's big. I'm really affected by caffeine. So a tall cup of coffee. Um, and my morning's off to a good start. So I said earlier that Charlie got sick in our closet sometime in the night, which is sad for him and also sad for us because it's gross and it makes... It smells horrible, just to be frank. And so I put my diffuser in here and I'm diffusing purification, which is a blend that is great for helping to eliminate odors. And I've just had that going in here all morning with the door closed and it smells, compl it smells not only does it not smell bad in here, but it smells really fresh. Um, obviously it disgusted me to think about that rancid smell, like, <laughs> going into all of our clothes in this newly organized closet, which I will link above our closet organization video. But just a little tip, if you are into oils, you could probably use something else. Citrus oils come to mind, um, but purification works. It's just so great at getting odors out. So anyway, that's what I've been doing. Also, I have, um, I purchased these prints and framed them. 
um, to go above the bathtub actually in here. Um, they're gonna go right across the wall right there. I love unwinding in the bath and I thought they would be really pretty. And actually I might try to hang them right now. It would probably be easier if I had Riley's help so maybe I'll wait until this afternoon but I'm excited to do that because I think it's gonna add these tall ceilings are just, just a bland wall so I think that will look really nice. Right, I'm working on getting these <clears throat> picture frames hung up. I have two of them. I'm going to put the third one up. So far, I am loving them. All right, so there is the finished product. Um, I think it looks really good. And so the three images, the one is like the sand of the beach with a little bit of the water up in that top right-hand corner. And then this one is like a... Uh, um, I almost said a pier. That's not a pier. It's like one of those little on beach houses that has a ramp um, or like little sheds or lifeguard stand kind of things. Can you see my hand moving in the background? And then this one is obviously just water. I wanted like beachy watery things because I thought that would be nice in a bath. Um, they make the whole bathroom feel like so much more finished. Um, if I just step back, you can kind of see it just adds a lot to it. So I really like them and I I think they're great so I'm I'm excited about them I'm excited to see what Riley thinks when he gets home oh and since I know I'm gonna get some questions um these frames are from Ikea and the prints are actually I got them off of um I think I got some of them off of hmm there's a few websites I use for royalty free images that I use for blogging and these are all three from them so one of them I think is just off of Canva, which is what I use for online design work. I think one of them might be from Boss Fight or Pixabay maybe, maybe Unsplash. It's one of those four. Um, anyway, and then I got them printed in, these are posters, not photographs. Got them printed cheap at vistaprint.com. So um, those, I hope that answers all of your questions. It's about 4.15 now, and I'm actually about to head out to the grocery store to grab some stuff for dinner tonight and tomorrow. Because we're leaving on Sunday to go away for a week, I'm trying only to buy just exactly what we need, but we are barren. Our pantry is barren, and <laughs> we need to, there, like I was staring at it for a few minutes just now, like, could I pull anything together for dinner? No, so I'm gonna go get some stuff, I think, to make some green enchiladas and some spaghetti because both of those meals freeze really well and so I'll make one today and one tomorrow. We can eat off them throughout the rest of the week and if we either get sick of them or um, there are leftovers, I will just freeze them and I'll be, we will be happy to come home to some um, homemade food that we can just thaw and eat. I just got home from the very crowded grocery store and I, I don't think I've ever in our entire marriage bought um, canned, to, um, spaghetti sauce or marinara or, or any kind of sauce like that because it is so 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 easy to make your own it's just so easy and it's so delicious but it takes about three hours to simmer and it's 512 there we don't have three hours but um, to doctor up the sauce I chopped up half an onion and two cloves of garlic in some olive oil and then I just have um, and then I just added some salt and pepper and I'm just sauteing that um, for a couple minutes and then I will add this in. I'll probably also add some basil, maybe a quarter cup of um, Parmesan cheese. The, the, it's just, this is like a, a good quality sauce and even still it's just nowhere near as good as real homemade sauce with all those delicious flavors. So I'm going to infuse some of those flavors back in and I'll let you guys know how that goes down. Um, it is bitter cold outside so I'm so excited to have spaghetti and I'm just gonna after these finished sauteing I'm gonna add the ground beef in here and then brown the ground beef and then add the sauce on top um, and then just put a lid on it and let it simmer until Riley gets home and then I bought some garlic bread that I'm gonna put in the oven and um, some salad so we'll have a nice little cozy meal during this cold winter night. All right, so here is my little meat sauce now. It's just starting to simmer. 
And so like I said, this is a pound of ground beef, half an onion, two garlic cloves, some olive oil, some salt and pepper. Um, I'm gonna add some basil in now. Let's turn that down a little bit. Add some basil in. I just tasted it and it tastes, oh, and I added like a quarter cup of Parmesan. I just tasted it and it tasted really good. So, you know, sometimes you just gotta doctor it up. This looks like good meat sauce. It will be great on spaghetti. So just a little tip from me to you. If you love canned spaghetti sauce, you do you, girl. If you don't love it and usually like to make your own, I will leave the link below to the sauce recipe that I use and love. And if you're somewhere in the middle, then you can buy you can buy any kind. This kind isn't good, but it's not cheap. Um, and then add a few things just to make it taste even more homemade. So now I'm just gonna let this, I'm gonna cover it and let it simmer. All right, I just finished dinner. Super, super easy and simple. Just some Caesar salad some garlic bread with cheese on it and some of that spaghetti and then I bought just some sparkling water with lemon in it to drink because I thought that sounded good. So we are about to eat. Yum. Okay, so I made this sauce. Mm -hmm. And what did you think? How do you think it turned out? It was delicious. Um, not as good as your real homemade from no, home nothing. from homemade sauce. Nothing's as good as Which is, mm, but this was great. If you told me that you made this at home and just used a different recipe, I'd believe you, but. Yeah, see? Um, if you add a ton of onions to things, and I'm gonna be. And basil. Yeah, well, onions mainly. Oh, I love onions. Yeah, if you add onions to things, I'm gonna be good. Tell them what we're about to do. We're about to go to Starbucks for a little coffee day. Why? Because it's a fun thing to do after an Italian meal. Man, my face looks huge. Can you get it away from my face? It's so huge. Is it zoomed in? No, just a big face. Someone commented today that she laughed out loud when Charlie trotted away with that. That was so funny. His like trotting, he really does trot. It's Wait. like such a self-righteous trot. Like I'm not doing anything wrong. But tell them about what happened later that night when we were in the middle of the gift exchange up front, what he did. Oh, we were doing gifts exchange. So back here in the back room, we had all the food, obviously. We were up in the front room opening packages and we forgot that we left the cheese board out on the ottoman just right at Charlie level. And Charlie trotted into the living room with a pound of cheddar cheese, like uh, the block Cold that you bread. buy. In, his, in mouth. his mouth and just trotted it in front of everybody and everybody like tried to grab him and get away from him and he would not drop it and he ran to the other room and someone came and thankfully got him because if Charlie wasn't so stupid Riley Quinn. he would have gone into another room quietly and I mean, not told everybody that he got a big block of cheese and ate the whole thing and he could have had the whole thing of cheese. He ran the front room because someone called him back here. Yeah, thankfully. He could have had a pound of cheese that night but he screwed up and that was actually hilarious that was so funny when we're all just doing like a gift exchange and then he just comes trotting yeah he's like little clydesdale feet with an entire block of cheese. he's like i got some sharp cheddar that's my gift exchange <laughs> oh. charlie tell what you just wanted to be a part of it we're at Starbucks and we both got cappuccinos and I just put some cinnamon on mine and Riley is following suit. We just got home from our coffee date, which was really fun and Charlie's getting some snuggles and I'm gonna go to bed, I'll see you guys tomorrow. Good morning y'all, it's Tuesday, January 16th. I just got a chiropractic adjustment, which is never the best time to film because everything's just like slicked back. But, um. <clears throat> I was up until about 2 a.m. last night getting some work done um, on a couple of different projects I'm working on right now and um, I got a lot done which was great. I got a good night's sleep and I'm up and moving. I'm sitting outside like I said of the chiropractor's office and now I'm heading over to Jenny and Casey's house because we are working on these booklets for church. I've been designing them and we need to finalize and order them to get printed today. So I'm going to go ahead and do that and then after that I'll probably go stop by Riley's studio talk to him about a couple things 
and um yeah just it's a good good morning I hope you guys are having a good day and I'll check in later it's just about three o'clock now I've been getting things done all day and I just came up here to sort some shirts so I'm working on that okay the music's been off this whole time. As soon as I start filming, he well, cranks it. Was it. it, was, it was all done, it was too low, so I it Yeah. You know what's a good reminder to turn your music up? When someone starts someone filming. In my ear. <laughs> hey guys, it is, it's a little after 5 p.m. now. I actually have a Skype meeting at 5.45, and so I already made dinner. We're having green enchiladas tonight, and so I made them, and they are in their little pan that we're gonna bake them in in the refrigerator so that um, I can put them in a little later once, I think they take about 20 or 30 minutes to heat up, so I'll put them in a little later. This has been such a good day. I went to bed last night late at like, I think around 2 a.m. and um, it was just feeling, just some things in my personal life, just some heaviness and um, woke up feeling really renewed and just felt like I mean, I shared this in my assurance video. Like, I just feel like God has just put his finger on me this year for 2018. And it's just saying this is going to be a year of joy for you. And um, it's just like really been a really neat, just amazing God-sized kind of thing. And I just have been getting like so many reminders and signs of that just randomly throughout my day to just today I was over at my friend Jenny's house and she was like telling me this whole story about and basically said that and then I just got this postcard from my friend Madeline who lives across the country she was my one of my college roommates and um, it has a verse on it and it's first Peter 510 and it says and after you have suffered a little while the God of all grace who has called you to his eternal glory in Christ will himself restore confirm strengthen and establish you amen amen so that's where i am today i'm gonna get ready to skype and i'll check in with you guys a little bit later it's wednesday january 17th see look i got this cheap watch oh and um every other day it's 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 spanish so oh that's special it's like a bilingual watch yeah it's great i have to reset it every morning <laughs> good morning guys i just picked up coffee for riley and even though it's only 18 degrees outside i got a green tea frappuccino because i've never had one and i thought it sounded good and he just printed some shirts for me and that's Will that show them my organized thing i made oh yeah and riley just made this new organizational system because blair is my wife and um and she's rubbing off on me so <laughs> i made um that's Look at that. Guys. That is like seriously. And then um, some work stuff. And then um, orders, orders, and electronics, and um, stuff like that. So, pretty happy with it. I can't believe you made, you did that all yourself, and I I'm know. so proud. Are you? Yeah. yeah. Hey guys, it's about 1.45 p.m. now, and as you can see, I'm setting up to take some pictures for Etsy. I have this bucket of ready-to-ship garments and items, and I want to... Um, take a few pictures. I have a couple of Christmas things left over that are going to be on a deep discount. Um, so I'm going to go ahead and take all of those photos of everything in that bin just to keep my ready to ship section completely up to date. Hey y'all, it's 410. I'm sitting outside of the post office. I just dropped off a bag full of Etsy orders and checked my P.O. box and I'm heading home now and I think I'm done with work for the day. Um, it's been a good productive day. Good morning guys, it's Thursday, January 18th. And um, I'm sorry I didn't check in for the rest of yesterday. It ended up being a little bit crazy town because we got home and our ice maker, our washing machine, and our dishwasher were all acting weird. The ice machine hasn't been working since November and we've had repairman men come in and in and in and no one can figure it out. It's this whole long thing. The washing machine started leaking, which has never leaked, and the dishwasher was, it was just very odd. And so we were, we were figuring all those three things out. I think, think we're good now. We have repairmen coming in for the ice maker. The dishwasher just seemed to be a fluke, which was weird that it was a fluke alongside the other two. Um, anyway, 
we're, we got it all figured out as far as we could and we are continuing to work that out. I'm about to film a pre-Disney trip haul which is going to be so much fun. So if you, by the time this video goes up, that video is probably already up. So go ahead over to my channel and you can go and watch it if you are a Disney lover too or if you just like seeing um, what I have grabbed in preparation of this trip. And I'm going to film that and I'll check in with you guys in a little while. Okay, so here is the aftermath of filming. I just filmed a pre-trip Disney haul, which I think is already, like I said, I think it's already live, so you can go watch that. And then I also filmed um, half of a video that I am making that is called Disney Expectations versus Reality. So basically I just filmed what our plans are for every day of the trip, and then either while I'm on the trip or right when I get back, I'm gonna film um, segments of what we actually did on each day and then I'm gonna put them back to back so for example I'm gonna say like today I'm gonna say like this is what we plan on doing on day one this is where we plan on eating these are the parks we plan on going to and then I'm gonna insert directly after that footage after our trip that says what we what we did you know reality what we actually did just as a way for people to be able to see kind of the difference between plans versus reality and like even with all the planning that you can do for Disney it's still important to have flexibility because there's always going to be changes each day and I just like listening to trip reports and things like that so anyway if you're not subscribed make sure you subscribe because all this Disney content is coming soon um which is great so I am going to go ahead and I think I'm going to wrap up this vlog now so I can edit it and get it up um Thank you guys so, so much for watching. Like I said, make sure to subscribe. If you're not subscribed, make sure you subscribe. And if you want, you can turn on channel notifications by clicking on the little bell icon next to the subscription button. Um, and that will alert you when I post a new video because I have, I'm gonna have seven Disney vlogs go up. This video, um, that I just talked about with expectations versus reality, the Disney pre-trip haul video. I'm gonna do a room tour while I'm there. So there's like d like a dozen Disney videos coming your way. So if you're interested, make sure that you do subscribe. If you enjoyed this vlog, I always appreciate a thumbs up and I would love to hear what are you up to this week? How's your life going? Um, what's up with you? How's everything going? Just fill me in. And I will see you guys next time. Thanks so much for watching. Bye.